10 Most Incredible Discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope On December 25, 2021, the Large Infrared Telescope, with a primary mirror over 21 feet in diameter, was launched from the ECE spaceport. Formerly known as the Next Generation Space Telescope NGST. It was renamed in September 2002 in honor of former NASA Administrator James Webb. JWST is the flagship observatory of the next decade, serving thousands of astronomers worldwide. It explores every phase in the history of our universe, from the first glowing flashes after the Big Bang to the formation of solar systems capable of supporting life on Earth-like planets and the evolution of our own solar system. Each report from the Webb team is filled with data that reveals the universe in a new light. The telescope, designed with a range of innovative technologies, not only meets but exceeds the expectations of the scientific community. It conducts observations that are impossible from Earth, regardless of the aperture of a ground-based telescope. Beyond the wavelength of approximately 2.5 microns, where the sensitivity of ground-based observations is heavily limited by atmospheric thermal radiation, Webb's advantage will be enormous. The telescope is designed for a mission duration of at least five years. After a successful launch and completion of the telescope's commissioning, the JWST team determined that the observatory should have enough fuel for scientific operations in orbit for over a 20-year period. Now, let's delve into the 10 discoveries that NASA experts and the global scientific community deem the most significant and mind-boggling. Number 1. The first images of an exoplanet captured by the Webb Telescope Scientists discovered the first exoplanets in the 1990s, and today, we know of over 3,000 worlds orbiting distant stars. However, only about 20 of them have been directly imaged. The Webb Telescope has the potential to change that. In September 2022, it captured its first direct image of an exoplanet. The object that the JWST investigated was the planet HIP 65426b, which was discovered in 2017. To observe and photograph it, scientists utilized two of Webb's cameras, as well as several filters and the telescope's coronagraphs, which blocked the light from the central star. In addition to the telescope's exceptional sensitivity, the planet itself has several characteristics that facilitate its observation. It is located much farther from its star than any planet in our solar system. For comparison, Pluto is about 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth. HIP 65426b is a colossal gas giant, approximately 12 times the size of Jupiter. Number 2. Rethinking the Phantom Galaxy the Phantom Galaxy is located approximately 32 million light-years away from Earth. It belongs to the class of Grand Design Spirals, which are galaxies with well-defined spiral arms. New images captured by the Webb Telescope reveal structures resembling filamentary heat-emitting fibers, as well as dust and gas emanating from the bright center, colored in electric blue. At the core of the Phantom Galaxy resides a supermassive black hole and a cluster of powerful old stars. The red bubbles scattered throughout the spiral arms represent regions of highly active star formation. Researchers from the European Space Agency have created a composite image of the Phantom Galaxy as part of the International FANGS project. This image combines observations from the Webb, Hubble, and several ground-based telescopes. Number 3. Surveying the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula for a long time, images of this object were among the most iconic captures by Hubble. The telescope, primarily sensitive to visible light, captured immense cosmic structures, but the creation occurring within them remained concealed. Now, thanks to Webb's infrared imaging, it has been able to reveal numerous protostars within the photo. Appearing as small red dots against the backdrop of the hazy pillars, these clusters of dust and gas, each several times larger than our solar system, represent the birth of stars. These young stars that we see in the image have not yet started burning hydrogen, said Derek Ward Thompson, head of the School of Physical Sciences at the University of Central Lancashire in the United Kingdom, to Space.com in October. But gradually, as more and more material falls, the core becomes denser and denser and suddenly it becomes so dense that hydrogen begins to ignite. 
and then their temperature rises to about 2 million degrees Celsius or 3.5 million degrees Fahrenheit. Number 4. Discovering the Most Distant Galaxies Webb was designed to observe the farthest galaxies from us in the universe. In mid-December of 2022, scientists confirmed that the JWST team had indeed succeeded in this endeavor. The telescope conducted registered observations of the four most distant known galaxies, which also mean the most ancient ones. Webb saw them as they appeared approximately 13.4 billion years ago, when the universe was only 350 million years old, just 2% of its current age, as part of the Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JATES, project. Researchers confirmed the age of celestial objects by analyzing data from the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph. This allowed them to determine the rate at which galaxies are moving away from the point of observation. This measurement is known as redshift, and it indicates how much the wavelengths of light emitted by these galaxies have stretched as the universe expands. The redshift of the four most ancient galaxies measured in the JATES project was found to be 13.2 the highest ever measured. Number 5. The Most Studied Planet Outside the Solar System Thanks to the Webb Telescope, the planet WASP-39b, which orbits a star in the constellation of Virgo, becomes the most studied world in the galaxy. It is located approximately 700 light-years away from Earth, and is a giant planet comparable in size to Saturn. WASP-39b orbits its star in an extremely close distance about eight times closer than Mercury is to our Sun. Using the main camera and spectrometers of Webb, scientists have discovered carbon dioxide and other components in the atmosphere of planet WASP-39b, which is a significant finding. Studying the composition and structure of the atmosphere helps scientists to better understand the processes of formation and evolution of this planet. Additionally, based on the ratio of oxygen to carbon in the atmosphere, Scientists believe that WASP-39b formed at a much greater distance from its star than its current position, indicating that it may have originated from the collision of smaller planetesimals. Number 6. Photo of Clouds Above Titan The moon of Saturn Titan is a peculiar yet intriguing place. It is home to rocks made of water ice and features rivers, lakes, and seas of liquid methane and ethane. Titan is the only moon in our solar system with a dense atmosphere, foggy and dotted with methane clouds. In November 2022, scientists captured a glimpse of some of these clouds when Webb collected atmospheric data. In the end, they discovered that the telescope captured not one but two clouds, including one above the largest sea on Titan, Kraken Mare. The Webb team was so intrigued that they reached out to the Keck Observatory in Hawaii which was able to observe Titan just two days later. In the Keck observations, a cloud was also present over Kraken Mare, but it had a different shape. This indicates that either the cloud changed or it moved, and its counterpart settled in the same location. Scientists are pleased with the results, and assured that data like these will help them create a map of the haze on Titan and discover new gases in Saturn's moon's atmosphere. Number 7. The Hidden Essence of the Southern Ring Nebula Scientists have always considered it rather unremarkable. It was thought to be a dying star, a white dwarf. It has already shed its outer layers, which shine brightly as the white dwarf continues to emit energy. Astronomers also knew that there was another undying star, part of a binary system with the first one, and it was largely obscured beneath the brightly illuminated gas. But the stunning image of the nebula captured by the Webb Telescope and released among its first images and data revealed that things were not so simple after all. JWST captured the cloud using its two instruments, the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument. With the help of the latter, researchers observed that the white dwarf was not invisible, as expected at that wavelength, but instead emitted a red glow and was surrounded by a haze of cold gas. Where did it come from? The only plausible explanation appears to be that there is a hidden third star within the nebula, which serves as the source of gas. The telescope's main camera also captured intriguing shells along the edges of the nebula. Scientists believe that the third star is concealed somewhere between the two known stars. 
Its energy could have caused the dynamics and ripples observed in these shells. Number 8. Discovery of a Brown Dwarf in Sandy Clouds While many telescopes are designed to discover exoplanets, Webb was not specifically designed for this purpose. However, due to its power, it still manages to find them, and this object is particularly peculiar. First of all, VHS 1256b is not a planet at all. It is a brown dwarf, a celestial object larger than a planet but too small to be a full-fledged star. It emits a faint reddish glow, a result of altered nuclear fusion processes occurring in objects that are very massive but too small to sustain hydrogen fusion. The exoplanet is relatively small for a brown dwarf, and therefore quite young. Even more intriguing is the observation made by the Webb telescope. VHS 1256b has sandy silicate clouds, a first for such an object. The chemical analysis conducted by the telescope's instruments was able to identify individual chemical compounds in the atmosphere of this brown dwarf. It contains water, methane, carbon dioxide, potassium, and many others. The ratios of these different compounds suggest the presence of dynamic processes occurring on this celestial object. Number 9. The first full spectrum of a planet's atmosphere obtained with a telescope. As we discussed earlier, the Webb telescope allows us to determine the substances present in the planet's atmosphere without the need to send reconnaissance drones into deep space. For the first time, the identification of chemical compounds in the atmosphere was achieved through data analysis from the James Webb Telescope during the study of the hot exoplanet WASP-96b. As part of its first image and data release, NASA presented the first spectrum of an exoplanet's atmosphere. Webb spectrometers analyzed the light from the nearby star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. This allowed them to obtain a spectrum, a kind of barcode of the wavelengths of light absorbed by the planet's atmosphere. The spectrum revealed signs of a hazy sky, clouds, and water vapor. This came as a surprise since scientists had previously believed that the planet had no clouds at all. The planet's atmosphere showed a prominent sodium signature, which researchers had assumed until recently meant it had a unique, cloudless sky. The results turned out to be so contradictory that teams of scientists are reanalyzing the data from Webb and all previous materials attempting to reconcile the seemingly conflicting findings. Number 10. The first photo of new star formation and galaxy merger One of the advantages of Webb is its ability to see through dust and reveal hidden objects that other telescopes like Hubble cannot detect in visible light. Webb operates in the infrared range, which allows it to penetrate interstellar dust clouds and provide a clearer view of distant galaxies, star-forming regions, and other celestial phenomena. This unique capability enables Webb to unveil new discoveries and expand our understanding of the universe's hidden wonders. When JWST captured an image of the two colliding galaxies IC1623, it revealed to scientists what its predecessor missed, a region of intense star formation. This is a dynamically evolving zone filled with energy, and according to researchers, it produces stars 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. The detailed observations made by JWST allow us to witness the spectacular process of galactic collisions and the formation of new stars, shedding light on the cosmic phenomena that shape our universe. In the new image, the area of star formation is illuminated by infrared radiation so intensely that it creates a distinctive starry diffraction pattern unique to Webb. This phenomenon usually observed around bright stars, showcases the incredible level of activity and the immense energy involved in the formation of new stars within the merging galaxies. The advanced capabilities of JWST enable us to capture these intricate details and unveil the hidden processes in the universe, opening up new avenues for understanding galaxy evolution and the birth of stars. Scientists believe that the merger of these galaxies, located approximately 270 million light-years away from Earth, may also lead to the formation of a supermassive black hole, although its traces are not yet visible in the telescope image. The gravitational interactions and violent processes occurring during the galactic collision provide the necessary conditions for the growth and eventual coalescence of black holes. Further observations and studies will be conducted to investigate the presence 
and evolution of these enigmatic cosmic entities, and deepen our understanding of the fascinating phenomena taking place in the universe. <laughs>